Hello, this is Junhua from TCM Explained. Today we are going to learn about dizziness. Dizziness can be caused by excess or deficiency. Excess patterns involve emotional stress, inappropriate diet, or physical trauma leading to liver yang rising, phlegm damp, or blood stasis. Deficiency patterns involve overexertion, fatigue, chronic disease, or aging leading to qi blood deficiency or kidney essence deficiency. Head is the meeting place of the clear yang and orifices. When the orifices are stored by excess pathogens or the clear yang fails to ascend to the head, there will be dizziness. Because dizziness is related to the pathology of the head, patterns of dizziness are not much different from that of headache. Three patterns of excess dizziness are liver yang rising, phlegm damp, and blood stasis. As you can recall, they are essentially the excess patterns of the headache. And the formulas are the same as well. If you have not watched our last video on headache, you can watch that video first and come back to this one so that you can learn more about these formulas in more detail. When treating headache or dizziness caused by liver yang rising, we use Tian Ma Go Tang Yi. For any type of headache, Chuan Xiong is very important. For dizziness, Tian Ma is the key herb. For a mild case of liver yang rising, we can use light herbs such as Sang Ye or Ju Hua. For a severe case of liver yang rising, we can add heavy herbs such as Long Gu or Zi Shi. For phlegm damp headache or dizziness, we can use Ban Xia Bai Zhu Tian Ma Tang. For dizziness, we can also consider Ling Gui Zhu Gan Tang or Zhe Xie Tang. For blood stasis, we use Tong Jiao Huo Xue Tang. For deficiency patterns, we have Qi blood deficiency and kidney essence deficiency. We talked about these patterns in the last video, but here we have new formulas. For Qi blood deficiency dizziness, we use Gui Pi Tang. As you can see, there are signs and symptoms of Qi deficiency as well as blood deficiency. Treatment principle is to tonify qi and blood, regulate heart and spleen. Spleen is the post heaven responsible for the production of the qi and blood, and heart governs blood. Huang qi and long yan rou are the key herbs. Huang qi tonifies spleen qi, and long yan rou tonifies spleen heart blood. Ren shen, bai zhu, xiang jiang, da zao, and gan cao work with huang qi to tonify qi. Dang Gui, Suan Zhao Ren, Fu Shen, and Yuan Zhi work with Long Yan Rou to tonify blood and calm spirit. Suan Zhao Ren is a sour herb that can inhibit sweating, and Yuan Zhi is beneficial for forgetfulness. Mu Xiang is a regulating qi herb. When we tonify qi and blood, adding a regulating qi herb can prevent bloating and nausea. Next is kidney essence deficiency. Treatment principle is to tonify liver and kidney and replenish essence and marrow. We can consider using Zuo Gui Wan, Xu Di Huang, Shan Yao, and Shan Zhu Yu are the yin tonifying herbs in Liu Wei Di Huang Wan. Xu Di Huang is the key herb that replenishes essence. Shan Yao and Shan Zhu Yu not only tonify spleen, liver, and kidney, but also estrange essence. Go Qi Zi, Chu Si Zi, and Chuan Yu Xi tonify liver and kidney. Go Qi Zi focuses on the eyes, treating dry eyes or blurred vision. Chu Si Zi astringes essence, treating spermaturia. And Chuan Yu Xi focuses on the tendons and bones, treating soreness and weakness of the low back and knee. Gui Jiao Jiao and Lu Jiao Jiao are the animal substances that nourish yin and anchor yang. As essence is a yin substance, in a severe condition there may be yin deficiency heat signs and symptoms. In that case, we can add empty heat clearing herbs such as bie jia, zhi mu, or huang bai. That's it for dizziness patterns. See you again in the next video.